Hey everyone, this is Ben Mono from Berlin Mitte, talking to you straight out of my studio. Happy to be here. How long have you been producing for? It started off like in the late 90s with some breakbeat and drum and bass, and it's been a journey ever since. What are you working on right now? Um, the last release just came out. It's called Don't Tell on Strictly Rhythm Records. There's something happening on a Swiss label called Definition. The release will be out in January 2014. And Dimac Records signed the new project I did with Yolanda Be Cool. This should be out like in March or something. What software do you use to produce? I started off with using Cubase on an Atari, which is like ages ago, then went on to Logic. I think my first version was like Logic 3.0 and eventually ended up using Ableton Live 9.1. I'm really happy with that one, hoping to not change my DAW again. Nice. So what are you going to show us today? I would like to introduce you to a way how to create musical pattern, subtle chord progressions by using Ableton's build-in MIDI effects and the Max MSP LFO. So what we have here now it's a simple beat in the bass line, which sounds like this. To make it more interesting sounding, I would like to add some additional harmonies to the bass line. And to achieve this, I just copy the bass line down to another channel, which has an organ sound to it, and shift the whole bass line up one octave. Now it should sound like this. So to create some harmonic structures, Ableton Live's MIDI plugins come in quite handy. What we have here now is the chord plugin, which I used to create another third up and a fourth down, which makes this one note bass line sounding like this. As you can tell, it sounds a little bit out of tune. That's why I used the pentatonic in black scale that I've already used on the bass line, as you can see here. Let's listen to it again. So to have the chord structure moving a little bit and to make it more interesting sounding, I would like to use the Max MSP LFOs, activate them, and as I've done here, have them shifting around the single notes of the chords. As you can see here, now it's moving. Let's listen to it. I could even add more depth to it, which makes the shift more audible. And to go even further, I would like to have the second LFO here, shifting around the second interval. Let's listen to it together with the bass line. Let's have the whole track playing. That's it for now. Hope you liked the tutorial. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Hope to talk to you again soon. Great stuff from Ben there. Stay tuned in the coming months for more tutorials from him.